Our sun is a part of our everyday lives. Do you ever wonder about its creation? About how and when it will die? In this video, we will provide you with a detailed description of the sun's life cycle from its birth to its unavoidable death. This is called the HR diagram. It shows different types of stars. Our sun is a medium-sized star, so it is located in the middle of this diagram. In this version, the HR diagram the course the sun will take at the end of its lifetime is shown. The life cycle of the sun. It starts out with a dense cloud of dust and gas called a nebula. Due to gravity, it contracts and starts to spin, flattening the solar nebula into a disk. At this point, the protostar forms. A region of condensing matter heats up and begins to glow. Sometimes gas shoots out of the center. At 15 million degrees centigrade, nuclear fusion starts to form helium. The star begins to release energy, stopping it from contracting any further and causing it to shine. Our star is now a main sequence star. Presently, our star is about 4.5 billion years old, meaning its middle age. It has about 5 billion years left in the main sequence. As the sun burns hydrogen, the helium forms a shell around the core. At the 10 billion year mark, the sun runs out of hydrogen and begins to burn the helium in the shell around the core. This causes the core to shrink and heat up. The outside appearance of the sun changes as this happens. Since the core heats up, the outside expands and cools, making the star larger and dimmer. At this stage, the dying star is called a red giant. The core then becomes hot enough to fuse helium into carbon. The core heats up so much it expands, allowing the outside layer of the sun to shrink. The core is now a carbon-based and helium core is exhausted. However, there is still hydrogen and helium shells. These shells begin nuclear fusion, causing the sun to expand once again, creating a double shell burning red giant. When the sun is completely out of fuel, it will eject its outer envelope, which forms a ring of gas around the sun's remains. This is called the planetary nebula. The remaining inner core is made primarily of carbon and oxygen. The star is now in its final stages and is called a white dwarf. Eventually, when it stops shining and cools, the now dead star is called a black dwarf. Here's a quick video to recap the sun's life cycle. And congratulations, you now know the full life cycle of the sun.